There is no question, Ramon, that, that Michael Jackson has been victim of, of denigration through rumor and innuendo many times in his life. And the King of Pop's image may take another beating during the trial. Dr. Murray has no desire to portray Michael Jackson as, as, as anything but a saint, okay? Um, but Dr. Murray's on trial for his life. And the facts have to come out. And they have to come out clearly. If that's injurious to any particular party, then it's just going to have to be done. There were only two people in the room, Michael Jackson and Conrad Murray. So Conrad Murray's fate seems to lie in the theory that Michael Jackson gave himself the fatal dose. Prosecutors believe that Murray's defense will claim that Jackson injected himself with deadly amounts of the anesthetic propofol while his doctor was out of the room. This is a defense ploy, pure and simple. Um, and I gained strength from the fact that I know I'm innocent. None of these stories are true. According to the coroner's report, Jackson had the same amount of propofol in his body when he died as is used for major surgery. But Murray says he didn't give Jackson that much propofol. He's lying, he's guilty. Nobody was there but here, him. So he, he's guilty. He's just trying to save his own behind. How did it get in him? Well, that's a good question. Ted, do you have any idea how it got in him? You're not buying Dr. Murray's story, are you? I am not buying his story at all. I think he's guilty. I think he acted in a very reckless, uh, irresponsible way that caused Michael Jackson's death. Well, they've got to come up with something, and the evidence is pretty damning already. So I think they're just going to throw speculative ideas out to try and see if they can create reasonable doubt. And what they're going to try and do is deflect attention away from their client and onto Michael Jackson. The, the reality is Michael Jackson was not suicidal. He was not self-destructive in the way they're trying to say, and hopefully their defense will not succeed. Well, I'm sorry that the defense is going to have to bash Michael Jackson to try and divert attention from their guilty client. Is he scared? I don't think so. He's not scared of losing his license? He's not scared of going to jail? He did nothing wrong. You can see plain as day that Dr. Murray is scared to death and he has something to hide. I'm afraid to return phone calls or use my email. And he is afraid. You can see the fear in his face. Internationally renowned body language expert Dr. Lillian Glass dissecting the video of Michael Jackson's doctor for The Insider. I told the truth and I have faith the truth will prevail. When he says the word truth, you see that his eye waters and you also see that there's a twitch. So you wonder, is he really telling the truth?